Excellent. Donovan's gone. No. We can only affect him now. And we shall.
It happened again? I don't understand. Donovan swallowed the crystal, not Briar. It is not her mind that I am sinking into. What? Where am I? It feels like I'm suffocating. Loot, can you hear me? What's going on? You're with me? Here? Then this can only mean one thing. Be at ease, sister. We may learn something here. Briar, this is what I saw. You had your nightmares. So this is what remains of Donovan's mind. But how could we both get pulled in? I think it's the relic. Its power binds us all. Whatever certainties we had, we can leave them behind now. My dear Hannah, I everything I did, but I could not protect you. Dad. Hannah. Father, you have to let me. I, I can't. I will always watch over you. Mother and I. Grandmaster Dougal. I left the garrison without your leave. Your departure will... My regard for you go... My daughter, Hannah. I don't know what to do, Your Grace. The wisdom of the Keeper, and what looks most obvious, may not be part of their desire. Help me understand it, then. You could do more than just accept it. The bond you share with your daughter Stronger than death itself. Your souls are intertwined. We can give you both as a chimera. That filthy schemer. He manipulated him into turning himself and Hannah into a chimera. He took advantage of his desperation. Just as he did with us. What was that? Follow me. It's close. We... we made it. You made it, Hannah. <laughs> I am proud of you, my dear. Impressive work. I didn't think it possible such a short time. Now send her back. Your Grace, she's not well. <laughs> Men, rest. But the shade, it is restrain the. No, Hannah, don't. <laughs> Hannah has always been in pain, just as she said when she awoke as a transcended. Her suffering did not end when she died to become a shade. If Donovan had known, I wonder if Jugal was aware of the consequences. I doubt it even mattered to him. Anyway, that's the reason why Donovan never summoned... You're late. The Torchbearer wanders past, but eventually, her life... Such words of wisdom, but I'm sure you did not summon me to show off your ort. Listen, it's dangerous. I can't see why. We're both valued and reliable men. You've been asking too many questions. So Dougal is growing wary of you. He told me to keep an eye. So tell me what you're looking for and what you want from me. I only wish, but I have heard troubling things. I don't have time for this. The solstice of souls. Worlds colliding. The spawn of tape. Would that not trouble Old myths, idle gossip. These are the answers I got as I asked around. But judging from the look in your eyes, I believe your answer will... I don't have one, Observer. 
He is the reason I speak to you as the cause of my daughter. And yet you... I took my oath to the Order, not to him. The least I can do is to make sure that her son... But Dougal's ambition... It is always... If what you suspect is... It is. And that's why he asked you to invent... So what do you know? Suffice to say that you know more than I. I will talk with Dougal. And I will stop him if the judge is on our side. Are you sure this is the best way to... I've never been one for subtlety. I wouldn't know any other way. He still thought that he could overcome all challenges. With a true heart and a firm hand. Righteous and uncompromising. Or just foolish. Anyway, what happened next led to the massacre of Ilden. There must be something else buried inside Donovan's mind. Then we need to find it. We're nearly there. I'd be blind without you. Sir Donovan, and the request for such. I wish to know more. I didn't think you would want anyone else to hear our con. Always so thoughtful. But you are not as this you mean to be. You plan to unleash this solstice of... You are the one who betrays our very mission. And how can you be so naive? You can't deny that I'm right. Look at your do Blasphemous mad... I did it because you would not... I've believed your lies for far too... Believe what you will. You have a... The solstice of soul. No, Cordelia. Cordelia the Reap. Surprise, surprise. It's been a long time, Shadeless. Back to Duran already. I heard. Unluckily for you, it was just a one that would not accept that they're time. But you and me here. You feed off the misery of your own kind, like the vilest of scaven. Shut up, you bastard! Come on, Shadeless! So you can have your sadistic pleasure. Never! Enough, Cordelia. Your services as a Reaper are no... But why? And he won't have... Look closely. You... It won't be long before he transcends. All the more reason to end him, your grace. No. The Shadeless will do my... As you wish. You have no right to his memories. Not that it matters anyway. You'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you two, your wretched order, this world, and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will. No! Don't! There is no justice. There is nothing to gain in all this death.
she did is terrible. It is. But do not let her cruelty unnerve you. We must stop her, no matter what. <sighs> this feeling, for the first time, it feels like my fate is in my own hands. And with these very hands, I will crush you. You're crazy. You have brought forth your own destruction. You're just like Father. You always think you know better. But I am no fool. Unlike him, I am aware of the consequences of my own actions. My new body won't be able to contain this power for long. But long enough to put an end to everything, starting with you!
Loot! We can't break her hold! We must shatter the crystal! Now! Keep us watch over us! Judge, forgive me. What happened? My head hurts and spins in equal measure. Ah, ah. Briar! Loot! Is it you? It happened again. Yes. But do not worry for us, Nathan. Not for now, at least. How do you feel? Do you remember? The last thing I recall was Donovan making his way to the relic. Poor soul. I can't but feel pity for him. And even for his daughter. Anyway, then came a blast and I blacked out. I suppose that's when you... Transcended? Yes. Eventually. Once Hannah gave in to the destruction within her, we had no other choice. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Those sounded like wise words. At the time, it looks like I was the fool. But the dare, the dare is no more. How did you seal it? We didn't exactly seal it. We drained the relic of its power. So that now, that power lies within you. This fool. Our corrupted blood must be helping us contain it. We do not know exactly how, before how long, or what would happen should we turn back to our previous selves. The situation is dire, and the danger is great. Yet again, what you did, I can't but thank the Keepers for... No. I have to thank you. 
for it. So what do you propose? What course of action should we take now? Hide. Survive. Try to adapt to this new condition of yours. While you draw breath, there is still hope for this world and for Dougal's plan to be thwarted. The two things are strictly related. As for me, I will send word to Rhyme. I will set up my stage once more. They shall be surprised to see that I still stand. Or simply disappointed. Won't it be dangerous for you? They would come for me anyway. I'd rather be their first target, instead of you. I can buy you some time. If things go my way, I may even be able to help you. But I can't make any promises. At least promise that you'll be careful. I will. May the Keepers watch over you, my friends. see you again. The torchbearer led you back to me at a most convenient time. I have a very important message for you to deliver. There you go now. To rhyme. for a corrupted creature, and my instinct got the best of me. After all, who could roam these ruins if not one that carries their taint? You must have a good reason to be here, alive. Cordelia? Cordelia the Reaper? I'm... Sorry, my lady, but the chimeras that came before you, they're no more. I'm afraid you're too late. Or maybe I was right on time. What lies did you write in that letter? Where are they? Don't be so reckless, my sweet reaper. Once the Torchbearer takes them, the dead can only tell us so much. I will have a friendly conversation with our devoted observer. Well, you give chase to Briar and Loot. They won't stand a chance, Your Grace. <clears throat> Approach them with that attitude, and you'll face the judge in no time. It's not time yet. Follow them. Learn what they're capable of. Then report back to me. As your grace commands. So, Leighton, I assume your letter was addressed to me. Speak then. What did you wish to tell the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade? You know that you were meant to die here, with all the others. 
Did you expect that I would fall for any of your pretentious tales? Let us speak the truth for once, then. They stopped you, Dougal. Admit it. The outcasts did what no one believed possible, including me. Those peasants did exceed my expectations, yes. But all they have accomplished is just a small setback. A detour from a path that cannot be abandoned. But why? What did you hope to accomplish here? You would not understand, or anyone else in your sanctimonious triarchy. But you do not need to. It suffices that you recite your beloved canticle. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. Are those... Tears? Amadorin? And Rhyme? Dugal, you madman! What have you done? The solstice of souls is upon us.